American actor and singer Jason Michael Weaver, also known as Jay Weave, was born in Chicago, Illinois. His mother, Marilyn Kitty Haywood, a key member of the Chicago-based female vocal group, Kitty and the Haywoods, would raise Jason as a single mother. His father wasn't in his life on a regular basis, and sadly, Jason regrets not reaching back when his father attempted to reconnect with him when Jason was in his teens. His father would pass away about a month later. Jason's mother would play an integral role in not only helping her son get his foot in the door in Hollywood, but also in preventing him from being used and abused. Even though people first got to know Jason as an actor, his main artistic love was always music. Naturally, because it runs in the family. His mother and aunts recorded jingles and also worked with major recording stars such as Aretha Franklin and Curtis Mayfield. His songwriting and producing cousins, Tricky Stewart and Coot Carell, are two of the most sought after in the industry. Jason's journey would start at the age of five doing TV commercials and print ads. In 1990, he landed one of his earliest major acting roles on Oprah Winfrey's TV drama series, Brewster Place, a spin-off of the 1989 miniseries, The Women of Brewster Place. Shortly after that, he landed his first big screen role in the historical drama film, The Long Walk Home, alongside Whoopi Goldberg and Sissy Spacek. Jason then scored the role that would really make people sit up and take notice. He played Michael Jackson from ages 9 to 14 in the 1992 miniseries The Jacksons, An American Dream. He was actually handpicked by the King of Pop himself. Jason also provided vocals for the project that ultimately, heard by another international singing superstar, would get him his next big gig. While on the set, Jason would get word about a new Disney movie in the works courtesy of Sir Elton John. He just happened to have stopped by the set one day to show his support of the project and was impressed with Jason's voice after hearing him sing Who's Loving You. Elton approached his mother, explained a little bit about the project that himself and British lyricist and author Tim Rice had been recruited by Disney to do and asked if Jason would be interested in trying out for it. After the Jacksons wrapped, Jason went in for the audition and won everyone over with an amazing performance landing the singing voice role of young Simba in the 1994 animated musical drama film, The Lion King. Even though he wouldn't be heard speaking, Jason's voice would go down in history, singing the iconic tunes, I Just Can't Wait to Be King and Hakuna Matata. As far as the speaking role goes, Jason would later explain that it was offered to him, but just days prior, another actor, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, had secured the job by signing on the dotted line. Jason would also reveal to Vlad TV that Disney initially offered him one lump sum payment of $2 million for his work. Jason and his mother together made the decision to turn it down and instead negotiate a deal of $100,000 up front plus royalties that through Jason's lifetime have now far exceeded that original offer. Also, during the time of the Lion King production getting off the ground, Jason would be featured on the small screen again as Jerome Terrell on the short-lived sitcom Thea with future R&B star Brandy. He then switched gears to music and signed with Motown Records. His debut album titled Love Ambition was released in June 1995. The following year, he released an EP titled Stay With Me before disappearing from the music scene completely. After years of people wondering why he never produced any more music, Jason finally revealed that it was a classic case of being dictated to by the powers that be and not being able to fully express himself authentically. He's also said that the experience left a bad taste in his mouth, discouraging him from wanting to pursue further opportunities in the music industry. Luckily, by that time, Jason had been offered another very lucrative TV role, so he asked to be let out of his contract with Motown and moved on. He found his way back to television again in 1997 in the role of Marcus Henderson on the WB sitcom Smart Guy. The show ran for three seasons. Jason told Comedy Hype in 2019 that he had a great time on the show and he would have liked for it to continue, but it wasn't meant to be since, according to him, the network was more concerned with making changes that were necessary for them to attract a more mainstream audience. As the show was ending, Jason would soon be starting a new journey as a first-time father when he welcomed his one and only child, a son, around this time. More motion picture work would follow with Drumline in 2002 and The Lady Killers in 2004. 
Also in 2004, fans would be pleasantly surprised to hear Jason singing again as a featured artist on Chingy's track, One Call Away, as well as showing up in the music video. Even though the fans were happy about the collab, the record label wasn't. Jason explained that the reason that his name wasn't even attached to the song was because Capitol Records didn't want him on it. He claimed that they wanted someone more relevant at the time, like Marcus Houston, Omarion, or Houston. Jason ultimately ended up on the track after test groups show that his version was the one people liked the most. He does admit, though, that he did feel some kind of way every time he heard the song played on the radio and only Chingy's name was mentioned instead of Chingy featuring Jason Weaver. Two years later, Jason would star as Teddy in the comedy drama film ATL that would go on to become an urban cult classic. Over the last 15 years, Jason has continued to maintain a steady presence on the big and small screen in a variety of projects. He jumped into the podcasting arena in 2018 by forming the sports-centered show called Statlines Matter. His and his two co-hosts' main objective was to fill the void of the lack of African-American voices and opinions in the sports talk realm, as well as touch on social and political issues affecting the sports world. Today, Jason continues to stay booked and busy. In 2021, he joined the cast of the Lena Waithe-created TV drama series, The Shy. He was a natural choice since the focus of the show is centered on life in a neighborhood on the south side of Chicago, not unlike the one where Jason grew up. In the summer of 2021, it was announced that the show was renewed for a fifth season. Jason's also focusing his energy on developing and producing content through his own production company. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.